the coaching piece really um, starts from the branding standpoint. I, I did not want to market myself as a consultant, although that is part of my scope of work. I really wanted to use the word coach because one, when people oftentimes think of their heroes, um, oftentimes they may think of someone who's in sports. Um, they also may think of someone who served in um, maybe a political role like a president. So the, the word coach to me um, goes back to where when people think about influential leaders, whether it was when they played um, softball, baseball, basketball, soccer, um, little league, they played piano, they think of someone who coached them. Someone who at a very early age said, yes, yes, you can do it, Diane. You can be, you're gonna knock that ball out the park and, and score that first home run during the Little League softball game. So if I'm going to be a coach, I wanted to make sure that I do it in a way that's very dynamic and very engaging. So oftentimes when you're in the effective communication coach session, I'm gonna use techniques that are gonna bring you in we're going to have fun, we're going to do exercises, and I'm going to give you something tangible that you can take away and apply to your day-to-day -day activities. Let's give, our, let's give our volunteers a round of applause. All right, so I'm assuming because you volunteered, you have no problems with sharing the words, right? I only have four words. That's okay, that's perfect. As long as you have at least three. Does everybody have at least three? Okay, so we will start with you. What are the words that people use to describe you? Positive, outgoing, communicative, and honest. Love it. So when you think about her brand, or when you think about, I should be asking you, your brand, are those things that you have been told by various people throughout, no. throughout life? No. Okay. More like things I, like life taught me uh -huh. that I really care about. Okay. And I feel like I want people around me to have the same, like be the same, kind of. Like, so, no, I don't, I don't accept them to be the same, but I'm not just, I don't know. That's right. Who in this room knows you that you hang out with? It's a friend. No. <laughs> no, wait a minute. You were just saying this is your friend. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, you the words one more time. Uh, positive, outgoing, communicative. Honest. How many of you in this room would appreciate working with someone who's friendly, loyal, funny, helpful, and determined? I would too. Very, very nice. Communication is to me um, the most fundamental and critical component in any successful relationship. So what I say is one piece. And oftentimes what we say, again, is related or based on our technical aptitude or our subject matter of expertise. However, in addition to that, and that is definitely significant, one of the reasons why our messages are not conveyed or not received or not understood is the combination of how we said it with what we said. Versus you using the word late, you can say, so this is what society is probably telling you, is that you are late. I'm going to say that you are a person who marches to the beat of her own drum. <laughs> now, here's where we're going to do some diversity and inclusion training. In America, if you are somebody who marches to the beat of your own drum, that's known as a good thing. You're a leader. So versus me saying that she is late all the time, she's someone who marches to the beat of her own drum. So what that means is that if an event starts at five o'clock, because she's so important, she may come in at 5.05, but when she gets there, the party will begin. I really focus on anywhere from emerging leaders all the way to C-suite, highly tenured executives, to say, take a step back, and when you think about the areas of opportunity within your organization or with your, within your company, I, I guarantee you that nine times out of ten, the fundamental root cause of that opportunity is based on how you're communicating. How are you connecting with your team? How are you inspiring your team? How are you influencing your team? How, are you, how, how do you have the ability to um, 
present yourself as someone who's approachable, who's someone that is bringing others with them. So in my role, I make sure that in addition to all the wonderful skill sets that we have, whether it's via a technical skill or a subject skill, that we also continue to develop and really manifest our ability to communicate effectively.